गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स आई एम बुलबुल सेन गुप्ता योर मैथ्स टीचर आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट योर मैथमेटिक्स सेशन सो आई एम टू गोइंग टू स्टार्ट दिस सेशन विद अ ब्यूटिफुल थाट चिल्ड्रेन सो टूडे इज थाट इज इन अ वर्ल्ड इन विच यू कैन बी एनी थिंग बी काइंड इन अ वर्ल्ड इन विच यू कैन बी एनी थिंग बी काइंड सो विद दिस ब्यूटिफुल थाट आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट माई सेशन फर्स्टली चिल्ड्रेन यू हैव टू गिव टेस्ट वीकली टेस्ट फुल मार्क्स टेन सो आई एम रीडिंग द क्वेश्चन चिल्ड्रेन क्वेश्चन नंबर वन वेन वी एड एंड वन मोर थिंग चिल्ड्रेन इच क्वेश्चन कैरीज वन मार्क्स वेन वी एड हंड्रेड टू नाइन थाउजेंड एट हंड्रेड थर्टी सिक्स द डिजिट एट डैश प्लेस इंक्रीजेज बाई वन वेन वी एड हंड्रेड टू नाइन थाउजेंड एट हंड्रेड थर्टी सिक्स द डिजिट एट डैश प्लेस इंक्रीजेज बाई वन क्वेश्चन नंबर टू The greatest two digit number is dash less than the smallest three digit number. The greatest two digit number is dash less than the smallest three digit number. Question number 3. 7000 minus 5000 minus 2000 is what? 7000 minus 5000 minus 2000 is what? Question number four, four hundred more than the successor of three hundred ninety nine is equal to what? Four hundred more than the successor of three hundred ninety nine is equal to what? Question number five, ten plus one hundred one plus one thousand one plus ten thousand one is equal to what? Ten plus one hundred one plus one thousand one plus ten thousand one equal to what? Number six, four thousand one hundred twenty-eight plus dash equal to four thousand one hundred twenty-eight. Four thousand one hundred twenty-eight plus dash equal to four thousand one hundred twenty-eight. Now come to seven. Question number seven. Dash plus eighty two plus seventy one equal to dash plus ninety six plus eighty two. Dash plus eighty two plus seventy one equal to dash plus ninety six plus eighty two. Question number eight. Dash minus zero is equal to seven hundred eighty five. Dash minus zero equal to seven hundred eighty five. Question number nine, eighteen thousand minus dash equal to eight thousand. Eighteen thousand minus dash equal to eight thousand. Question number ten, seventy five hundred plus twenty five hundred equal to what? Seven thousand five hundred plus two thousand five hundred equal to what? So each question carries one marks. So children, read this question. I will also send you. the picture of this page so you have to complete this within 20 minutes after that you have to start your main topic that is multiplication okay children you will get only 20 minutes after that you have to do your textbook that uh, multiplications okay more about multiplication now children i am going to continue the chapter multiplication so here algebraic expression of multiplication is cross sign and the keywords let's do recapitulation children that what i have told you in the earlier classes uh, earlier sessions about multiplication okay so keywords are as much by equal group groups of lots of multiply multiplied by per times and product of okay children so in multiplication form the numbers are written in this way so there are three 
parts of the multiplication multiplicand multiplier and the product the number which is to be multiplied that is called multiplicand and the number which is multiplied with the multiplicand that is called multiplier and the result is the product and this is the sign of the product children always remember it okay now come to the point here children now let us discuss about some more facts about the multiplication okay children so here all of you see the rules of multiplication rule number 1 see 9876 into 1 so what is the meaning firstly let me tell you when a number is multiplied by 1 when a number is multiplied by 1 the product is the number itself when a number is multiplied by 1 the product is what the number itself so for example 9876 is multiplied by 1 so what will be the product product will be 9876 6 it means when a number is multiplied by 1 the product is number itself now rule number 2 when a number is multiplied by 0 the product is 0 when a number is multiplied by 0 the product is 0 for example let us take an example 4837 multiplied by 0 then what will be the product 0 right children now come to the rule number 3 a zero is added to a number on the right side when it is multiplied by 10 a zero is added to the number on the right side when this number is multiplied by 10 a zero is added to the number on the right side when it is multiplied by 10 10 is having one zero so here this one zero of 10 will be added to the right side of this number and then we multiply this 4378 with 1 so when a number is multiplied by 1 then the product is number itself so 4378 into 1 is 4378 right now come to number 4 rule two zeros are added with the number on the right side two zeros are added to a number on the right side when it is multiplied by 100 two zeros are added to a number on the right side when it is multiplied by 100 for example 1265 is a number and is multiplied by 100 then in the product this two zeros of the 100 will be added on the right side of the product and what will be the product 1265 will be multiplied by 1 so what is the product of these two number the rule is when a number is multiplied by 1 the product is the number itself so here the product will be also 1265 so 1265 is multiplied by 100 then it will become 126500 okay now come to rule number 5 3 zeros are added to a number on its right side when it is multiplied by 1000 three zeros are added to the number on its right side when it is multiplied by the 1000 for example 3789 is multiplied by 1000 so this three zero of 1000 will be added to the right side of the uh, right side of the product okay now what will be the product of this 3789 and this one so when a number is multiplied by 1 the product is the number itself so here on the left side of two zeros i will write 303789 now the product of 3789 with 1000 the answer is 3789000 yes see three zeros are added to the right side of the number now come to rule number 6 here all of you see 2 is multiplied by 60 here 
1 0 is there with a for example 2 is a multiplicand 60 is a multiplier when a number is multiplied with a number having 1 0 so all of you see 60 2 into 60 so here 60 is having 1 0 since so 1 0 will be added to the right side of the product and then we do the product of this 2 with the 6 6 to the 12 we will write down this 12 to the right side to the left side this is the left side and this is the right side the 6 to the 12 will be written to the left side of 0 right now come to next 2 is multiplied by 100 the 6 is having two zeros this according to rule this two zero will be written to the right side of the product right now we will do the product of two and six so two six are twelve we will write twelve to the left side of this two zero now come to rule number a two into six thousand so here six thousand is having three zeros so three zero will be added to the right side of the product and then we multiply these two digits 2 6 are 12 we will write this 12 to the left side of three zeros so in this way children you can you have to solve this worksheet number three we, I, now i am going to discuss work. now here children again i am repeating rules of this multiplication when a number is multiplied by one the product is the number itself when a number is multiplied by 1, the product is number itself. Rule number 1. Number 2, when a number is multiplied by 0, then product is 0. When a number is multiplied by 0, then product is 0. Rule number 3. 0 is added to the right side of the number when the number is multiplied by a digit which is having the 0. When a number is multiplied by 10, then 0 will be added to the right side of the number. Here 4378 is multiplied by 10, so 0, 1, 0 of 10 will added firstly written to the right side of the number and that is number is 4378. So simple method when a number is multiplied by um, 10, 100, 1000 or any digit which is having the 0 on the right side then in the product this 0 will be added to the right side of the product right for example uh, 4378 into 10 in this case the 0 will be added to the uh, right side of this number 4378 and then after 8 the 0 will be written in the second next uh, question number 4 uh, number 4 1265 multiplied by 100 so in this case um, when a number is multiplied by 100 then product will having the two zeros to the right side of that number okay and now come to the next when a number is multiplied by 1000 then in product these three zeros of 1000 will be added along with the number to the right side of the number see 3789 is multiplied by 1000 then this 30 of 1000 will be added with 3789's right side now come to next 2 is multiplied by 60 in this case 60 is having 10 zero. this 10 zero will be written to the right side of the product after that this 2 and 6 will be multiplied these are multiplied 2 6 are 12 12 will be written to the left side of this 0 now come to next 2 into 600 in 600 is having two zeros so two zeros will be written on the right side of the product and then the product of these two digits will be taken out so 2 6 are 12 it will be written to the left side of these two zeros so similarly in uh, when a, a 2 is multiplied by 6000 in 6000 is having three zeros three zeros will be uh, written on the right side of the product and then uh, the product of two digits will be written 12 12 will be written on the uh, towards the right left side of the zero in this way children uh, you have, uh, can solve the multiplication problems by following these rules of multiplication these are the some basic rules of multiplication now children here is the worksheet 3 
for class 4 unit number 3 find the product orally so you have to find the answer see this is your worksheet you have to do as a class work class work you have to do from A to F and in homework you have to do G H I J K L and M N O P these all are homework and up to A B C D E F up to F is a class work C work now let's uh, let me discuss about this question a 44 into 100 same children I have told you when uh, 44 is multiplied when a digit is multiplied by 100 then the 20 will be added to the digit to the right side of the digit okay so 44 firstly write down 44 and to the right side of the 44 write two zeros okay now come to b 96 into 1000 here also the 3000 the zeros of 1000 will be written first firstly and then to the left side of the mm, three zeros after the left side after the three zeros then 96 will be multiplied by one and then you all of you know when a number is multiplied by one the product is a number itself so in this way you have to solve it see 18 into 1000 same thing you have to firstly write the down uh, the number of zeros to the right side of the product and then you will find out the product of the two digits come to d 9 into 40 so in 40 there is one zero 9 is not having any zero so one zero so firstly you have to count how many zeros are there in the product okay so here only one zero is there so you write one zero uh, to the right side of the product and then you multiply these two number and then you write down to the left side of the 0. Now E 7 into 400 here also 400 is having two zeros so uh, and 7 is uh, having no, no there is no 0 in 7 it is single digit. So these two zero will be written to the right side of the product and then you will find the product 7 4s are 28 then to the left side of two zero that is you will write down 28. So in this way you will solve this is your classwork from A to E. Now from a, a to F, F sorry F, F is also 5 into 900, same thing. So 900 is having two zeros, so you will firstly put down two zeros. Then to the left side of the two zero, you have to then multiply these two digits, 9 and 5, you will write down the product, okay. Now come to G, and from G you have to do the homework. 9 into 8000, so here 8000 is having three zeros, you will write down three zeros to the right side of the product and then you will multiply this 9 and 8 and then you will write down to the left side of the 0 after 0. H 31 into 200 same 200 is having only this product is having only two zeros. So you will count the number of 0 how many zeros 1 2. So you will write down this 0 in the left side of the product and then you will find out the product of these two number 31 into 2 right so, and then you write down the result to the right side to the left side of the two zeros now i to the left side of the you have to write the digit uh, in product you have to write a, uh, write the digit to the left side of the zeros firstly count the number of the zeros and then put down the zero uh, to the uh, right side of the product and then find the product of the digit and you have to write down digits after uh, zero to the left side okay now uh, come to I 42 into 300 here 300 is having two zeros firstly put down two zero then multiply 42 and 3 and then write down the product J 12 into 8000 here 8000 is having three zeros firstly write down three zeros and then find out the product of 12 and 8 and then after three zero towards the left side you write down the answer the product of these two digits now K 10 into 1000 here 10 into 1000 1000 is having how many zeros three zeros so count the three zeros and then write down firstly put down the three zero to the right side of the product and then find out the product of 10 and 1. Oh uh, one more thing here in 10 and 1000 there are how many zeros let's count it 1 2 3 10 is also having one zero. So how many zeros are there 1 2 3 4. So you have to firstly put down four zeros on the right side of the digit and the digits are you have to multiply 1 and 1. So uh, when a number 1 is multiplied by 1 then the product is 1. So you have to write down uh, 1 after uh, counting the 4 zeros to the uh, left side of the 0 ok. L 7 into 40 so here only 1 0 is there so firstly put down the 1 0 then multiply 7 and 4. Now come to 
m 7 into 4000 here 7 into 4000 4000 is having three zeros so firstly count the three zero firstly write down put down the three zeros in the product and then you find out the product of four and seven and write down out to the left side of the zero now come to n 9 into 80 here 9 into 80 80 is having one zero so write down firstly zero to the right side of the product then find out the product of 9 and 8 and then write down to the left side of the zero now o now 8 into 7000 so here 7000 is having three zeros and then put down the three zero first and then multiply 8 and 7 and write down uh, the product of 8 and 7 to the left side of the zeros now p 459 multiplied by 1000 so firstly children how many uh, zeros are there in 1000 three zeros so firstly count the number of zero and put down the zero to the right side of the product and then find out the product of two digits 459 into one then all of you know children the basic theory of this is when a number is multiplied by one then the product is the number itself and another one when there is a zero when a number is multiplied by hundred or a digit carrying the zero the firstly count the number of the zeros and then put down the zero on the right side of the product then find out the product of the digits and you have to write down after zero towards the left side of the zero this is the main um, object this is the main gist that you have to follow the rules of the multiplication while you are solving this type of product okay children so hope you have enjoyed the class and uh, watch this video very uh, carefully and then first two things you have to do children firstly you have to give test that is uh, i am giving you 20 minutes after 20 minutes you have to uh, submit uh, your copies and then you have to do the classwork and then homework so classwork and homework uh, classwork you send first and homework you can send later so bye bye children uh, take care have a nice day